Welcome to this old arcade. My name is Ricardo. And I'm Hector. On uh, this episode, we're going to be talking about this wonderful belly pinball who done it. Who did it? Who done it? Who done it? Oh, who done it? Who done it? <laughs> this thing is uh, beautiful condition. I like it. Everything. Um, oh, nice and bright, too. Yes. They did Somebody did the. Uh, LED conversion already. I do actually want to um, do a little bit of update into it. So one of the things that I would like to do is um, if you see the inserts right here, you know, like green, yellow, and all that stuff. Right now, these ones are actually just uh, white, white LEDs. Pretty much the whole thing is white LED. And um, now that they come out with more, um, better, uh, like a brighter, uh, brighter LEDs that they came out. So. Uh, I want to do this area purple, you know, and then um, probably, uh, uh, um, what's it called, put some lights on the marquee right here. Oh, yeah, light up to Tony's yeah. Palace there. Yep, to make it look real nice. Um, you said you were going to think about doing something with a roulette table as well, right? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, so the, there'll be a light up, kind of like, like this right here. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why it's on the flipper, and they're, they're on the flashing ones. Yeah, you saw that? So I need to open it up and change it over to one of the main uh, lights. And uh, so, yeah, it's just um, um, it, it's just some of the little things that um, I want to look into and just want to do little updates and everything. A few yeah. more finishing touches. Yeah. And then the other one that we got was uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yes, yes. Um, there I'm is... assuming you're going to put a still picture of that up or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, um, but the, I'm going to make a whole episode about that one um, also real soon because uh, um, we're going to be uh, doing an overhaul on it because the, it still has this original, you know, lighting, the regular bulbs and everything. For some reason, I noticed also that there was a, just a couple of them that had LEDs, like, you know, like the... Oh, really? I didn't even notice yeah. that. Yeah, no, I didn't see that. So, you know, you do not want to be having regular bulbs and LEDs and everything, because it sends mm -hmm. over a different... Um, it just doesn't... Um, the, it doesn't like it. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I've, seen the, I've seen, like, the, the bulbs going out and burning up because there's, the voltages are completely different. Gotcha. I got yeah. you. That makes sense. Well, the amperage or something, yeah. Yeah. Um, Maybe somebody's going to correct me on that one. <laughs> I'm sure it is. A, you know, you'll see it in the comments. <laughs> so, um, but it's all good. Um, but yeah, you don't want to put regular bulbs in the LED bulbs. I mean, it's just... Yeah, plus we're going for the, the newer modern look, you know. So And it looks so much cooler with the uh, different colored LED lights uh, oh, LED yeah. that they have now. Um, because the, before they only had the white ones. <laughs> so now they got green. They got the color spectrum. Now, oh, so they, they, they have like, pretty much all the colors and everything. It's so bright. And it looks like th this whole thing is nothing but white LEDs. That's what I'm paying attention. I'm looking at it. It looks red on these ones, but because it has a dome on it with the uh, red, oh, okay. the the strips itself. And you know what? Let's find out because oh, yeah. uh, I guess you can do that. Let me um, go ahead and pull this out a little bit. It will be smart if I first take this out, so I'm <laughs> able to get it. You know. <laughs> Oh, you be delicate with the glass. Never set it on hard surfaces. <laughs> See, he's setting it on carpet, so they, that's fine. Dude. I literally had a, uh, what, what is, oh, I sent uh, my millipede. I have a millipede in the garage. I was taking the, I took the glass off just to clean it, set it on the carpet, and it exploded on me. <laughs> so, oh, yes. That happened about, uh, about a month ago. That was the original glass that was on it, too. I was kind of... Still bummed out about it. It's what it is. <laughs> All right. So here's the thing. Usually I'm, I'm on uh, on pinballs. If you're gonna lift this up, you're just starting or something. Unless it has the button or something like that. If it has the spring, pull it. You know, and then lift it up. Um, you don't want to get into that point that you hit the the wood area 
and then cause damage and then oh i see because it, it actually goes over here right and when you do that each time it'll kind of the do more some damage to the wood yeah. each time when i got one of them they um the whole thing was like cracked in here because what they did they just rammed it up yanked and, up on it all the yeah. time and they just kind of got used to doing that improperly good advice you do want to do that properly so you put, pull it all the way back till it clicks you lift this puppy up quick and you can see the whole system right here with the roulette and the um what I forget oh, yeah. I wanna go ahead and here is the uh roulette part here. And you can actually see it spinning there on the side. Kind of cool yeah that's pretty cool to look see it from the, the behind the scenes i guess so there are a couple of yellows um oh yeah you see those here yeah. but actually those, are those just the covers no oh, okay. these are actually uh like for example this one is actually a yellow one but it's a uh, um frosted ones so these are all frosted the the newer ones are pretty much clear so that gives so them more vibrant and yeah um but yeah, here I've seen the you see, see all the here. sensors and everything. It looks it looks awesome. <laughs> it's a cool shot um, from behind here, just to see all the inner workings of it and see it actually lit up. So here is another thing that I need to look at. I don't know where is this coming from. Hmm. Something is off that we're gonna have to figure find out. That's good thinking. Of course, good thinking. We don't. We obviously want things working. <laughs> so I'm wondering if it's actually like a. It's like it's a, some kind of leaf switch, right? Yeah, it's, it's yeah, a leaf switch. switch, but so it, it takes pressure to operate it. So it might be on, on the play field. Hmm. I'll have to look at it, but we'll, we'll check it out. Um, I'm not seeing like anything that. Uh... Because if you see like right here, you know, you see the leaf switches and everything. You... You know, when I have a chance, I'll look it up into this thing, see what it is. Or I can always touch it, you know, do a test like that when I'm playing the game. But... Oh, yeah, see what it activates, mm -hmm. or if it activates anything. I'm just concerned about this. And... All right, no, that's fine. So let me go ahead and put this down. So like I said, that's the roulette portion, portion right here that we saw spinning. I'll show you yeah. again on the other side there. We'll get a little close-up shot. <clears throat> There's a roulette right there. You'll see it'll just turn around and spin and while it's playing. And hit the right targets. So we're gonna hear the you know the, the whole thing of the game. I notice but, you pull that back out before you put that in there, right? Yes. Before That's another thing. The... Push it in and it pushes the um push the wood up. Yes. It goes in there. So either way, going up and down if you don't pull right. on the uh, pull on that beforehand. Cool. Good to know because I didn't know that either. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I did a uh, Adam's family, and um, I found out that uh, whoever <clears throat> whoever worked on it or something. Or I think it was the owner. He just uh, put it in there and just started going. Boom! It was like it doesn't come off. I don't know why. Oh, oh! Adam's family. <laughs> oh, on an Adam. Oh. So I had oh, to. Uh, one of my favorites. I had to come. He's my favorite, actually. <laughs> yeah, I had to literally uh, try to see if I can fix the piece and everything. Um, I did it. I, you know. I was able to get it fixed and everything, but it's not something that's like, you know, forever. Gotcha. Um, he pretty much damaged the... Oh, that's the permanent problem. damage right there. Uh, so let's well, Yeah, on. something you obviously want to avoid. <laughs> yeah. I was afraid of this. Set the tripod up here.
servant for quite a while. Oh, the butler, so we get to hear. Go over one? Yeah, the next one's the butler, that one. Um, yeah. Oh, we gotta hit both of them. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I have an alibi. Take care. Okay, so that voice. That butler voice you just heard right now. We were watching the credits earlier, and I, we just happened to glance at it, and it said Ed Boon. I was like, wait, did I just see Ed Boon on there? And for those that don't know, of course, I'm sure most of you know, creator of uh, Mortal Kombat, or the co-creator of Mortal Kombat. Uh, awesome guy. So he was actually the voiceover for the, um, so we had to look it up uh, thereafter, and yeah, he's the voiceover for the, the butler on here. Hey, come back here. So the voice of the detective, but, uh, he is the same guy that uh, does, um, what's it called, uh, pretty much a lot of the games, like, um, these are fun little facts that we just found out, we just happened yeah, to we come just across found out these. Of stuff. So, we just happened to come across these, this is so weird. So he's, um, I had him actually as an interview, and he actually did my intro. And yeah, it was uh, Tim. Uh, it's uh, Tim. Uh, Tim Kitso. Kitso. Yes, sorry. Tim. <laughs> so he's the same guy that does uh, M uh, NBA jams, NFL blitz. Yes, Mr. Boom Shakalaka. Mr. Boom Shakalaka. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> From downtown Phoenix, you're watching this old arcade with Ricardo. I'm Tim Kitro, a.k.a. Mr. Boom Shakalaka. Come <laughs> so Ed Boone and him both are voices, voice actors on, on this. Cool, fun little fact, right? Yeah. See what you can find out if you just pay attention to the credits sometimes. You know, I know. Huh? <laughs> but they just happened to pop up and they were names we recognized and we're like, no, it's got to be a different Ed Boon. It's, it's got to be a different Tim. No, you can't. No, we were wrong. It was the same one. Yeah, it's a fun little fact. There. And this game has so many, it has a ton of different modes on here too. Yeah, you can, try, you can try to you know hit the taxi, spell taxi, do all this, do the roulettes, uh, try to gamble here with the, the spinning wheels. Um, you can try to solve the the mystery, or you can just try to get through clues. You can interrogate su uh, suspects. Um, it's got a ton of things Impressive. you can do on here. So many different play modes on here. It's and the. Uh, the sound effects are fantastic. Oh yeah, definitely. And the music, it's... it's Wait, cool. I can't do that. <laughs> this is Midnight Champ. Midnight Madness Champion. Yeah. How does it know what time it is? <laughs> <laughs> I know how uh, probably it is. What time is it? It now? is midnight. It is four. <laughs> we are AM people. So, all right. Well, yeah. Just want to show you guys this. Um, uh, the next up things that I, that I like to do is actually do uh, updates in some of the colors for here to brighten it up. Um, the roulette table to actually see the, the roulette table and everything to light up and everything. I want to do. Um. I do actually, uh, yeah, just pretty much do little details, but there, there's, uh, you know, like a fan that, uh, kind of like this one right here. And as you see, I don't understand why the flashes are there, so I need to say, switch that over. So I got a feeling maybe that wi the connector that was right there, maybe that one right there. have something to do with it. All right. So I'm going to check it out. See, you're you're, you're figuring out the who done it. You're figuring out the clues yeah, right the now. Who done it? This mystery. This, yeah. yeah, to figure out how to, how to fix this who done it. Huh. 
but overall condition of this is is really nice very beautiful uh beautiful condition and taken care of it's not like those kinds of you know Show you the side art here a little bit people uh, yeah, it wasn't moved around a lot it wasn't beat up you tell it wasn't set outside too much <laughs> uh, live down on the side here where you see the uh guy like smoking oh yeah just kind of relaxing there but just the music and everything is just, yeah. you know. Dun, 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 dun. Did you know, what was the other arcade that had that one? I can't think of that. That's actual the, arcade, not pinball, right? Yeah, actual arcade. It was the one with the vehicle, the car that was driving and it was shooting. Um... If anybody knows, <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out and everything. But that sucks. I can only remember the oh, game. Oh man, no, I can't. I can't, can't think of it. That type Spy of Hunter. Movie. Spy Hunter? Are you serious? That does sound like something from Spy. That is. Yeah, yeah. Dude, dude, you have a good memory. Dude, that is totally Spy. Oh, dude. <laughs> you put that together quick, man. That was good. That was good. I, I didn't guess that at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the. They use the same music and everything, and then always, every single time, um, I just remember that music from from a, a Spy Hunter. Spy Hunter, yeah. Then I found out that I was listening to this one, and I was like, oh, it has the same song and everything. But it sounds familiar. Didn't Tim have that down in Park as well? Yeah, Spy Hunter. Yeah, I think I remember that. I remember playing that one back in the day. So, well, anyways, that's all we have for this one. Um, our next one is going to be. Uh, Showing you guys the new, uh, the other uh, pinball that we're doing, and uh, yeah, you're gonna be extensively working on and doing the LED, so yes, so it'll it, be uh, much more um, um, in depth. Yeah, it's gonna be more stuff. Uh, there, there's a couple of things need to be fixed. Uh, one of the cylinders had got uh, pretty much burned out, so oh, need yeah. to um, had that lingering smell here. Yeah, <laughs> in the living room here. So I need to uh, just replace that. Um, I need to place an order for it and replace it. Um, but yeah, slowly but surely we'll get these games like you know real nice and it'll be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, so I really like fun. As always, thank you so much for watching this whole arcade. My name is Ricardo, and I'm Hector. We'll see you next time. Bye.